Thank you, Marty, for the 60 years that we've been working together. And a special thanks to everybody out there that came to celebrate H.R. Puffin Stuff's 50th anniversary. Wow. And am I glad and grateful to be here to celebrate it with you. Um, you know, Puffin Stuff, of course, was our very first television show. As far as where we got the idea from, well, you know, in the 60s and part of the 70s, we had a puppet theater in Six Flags, uh, Kings Island, and Bush Garden Parks. And it was a theater that sat 15,000 people a day. Uh, it, it sat, uh, well, actually, it sat uh, 1,500 people, but we ended up playing to 15,000 people a day. And all those shows were sponsored by Coca-Cola. And, uh, we were there for almost nine years with a new show every year, and it was a very, very spectacular show, as big as a Broadway show. And in 1968, Coca-Cola, who, like I said, sponsored all of our puppet shows, came to us and asked us if we would do uh, a show in their pavilion at the, new, at the San Antonio World's Fair. And we came up with an idea, a show called Kaleidoscope. Every one of our shows had a little tiny theme to it. And uh, the theme of that show was about this superhero that was changed into a dragon. And the only way that he could be changed back is to buy, be kissed by someone. But who the hell would want to kiss a dragon? And that was what the show was about. And, uh, and the main character that ended up being a dragon was called Luther. And NBC uh, in 1968 approached us after we did a big hit for them uh, the banana splits. We built the costumes and created those characters. And so we took Luther, changed his name to H.R. Puffin Stuff. A bunch of the characters that were in that show uh, were in the television show too. The Witch and uh, Judy Frog and, and so on. And um, and the rest was history. So after the TV series, uh, you, we did a movie at Universal. And uh, we had a new character called Boss Witch. And I had the idea to call Betty Davis, who was living in Connecticut, and, and offered her the job. Uh, the movie was being done at Universal Studios. And she said, well, what's the character? And I said, it's a witch. And she said, a witch? You want me to play a witch? Go F yourself. And hung up. Well, a couple of days later, uh, the little woman that uh, was in Poltergeist, I wanted her to join our cast of little people. And I called her, she lived in San Francisco. And she said, I heard about the show. What is it that you want me to play, a mushroom? And I said, no, uh, I'm not sure what characters. She said, well, if it's a mushroom, go F yourself. And so <laughs> those were the only two times in show business that I got those nasty words thrown at me. Um, you know, Marty told me to do no more than a minute and a half 
and uh, he must be pissed by now because I know I went over it. Are you looking at him? Is he pissed? Uh, and I also want to tell you, so I better wrap it up. I also want to tell you that this week is the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. On top of that, I'm sure you all know that this is the 50th year of Comic-Con. So we're in good company and uh, Marty has a lot of surprises for you. I want, I love all of you. Have a great, great day at Comic-Con and here's Marty.